Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today's video we're going to do a follow-up on the R73800X. We're going to test the temperatures, we're going to try it on a few games, and we're going to see uh, a few other things just like temperature-wise, cooler-wise, all that kind of good stuff. Just check out all the benchmarks a little bit and see how it performs using the Ray Prism stock cooler that came with it. So stay tuned and here we go. So the last video, we put the uh, Ryzen 7 3800X in here. So let's go over some of the uh, voltages and have a look at the temperatures. So we got the uh, Wraith Prism cooler on there right now. Now right now it's just running uh, idle. Uh, we've got memory in here. There's all our specs. It's our processor, 16 gig RAM. So we're running at 3.911. Okay, you can see it here. Temperatures are fluctuates from 34 and sometimes it goes up a little bit, but not much Okay, so you can see all your voltages uh, Fans running at 2115. So that's the high fan. Remember I said I set it to high or low. Now it is loud When it's on high, I'll give you that So I just wanted to show you that and uh, we're gonna go have a look at a couple more features here Okay, so everything's hooked up here now I'm running with just the USB and here's the software so just like before you've got your ring your fan LED and your logo okay so I'll show you how these all work basically you pick which one you want ring pick your color choose static choose rainbow swirl all these different ones click apply move to the next one your fan and your logo and they will then we'll do what you want. So I'm going to put it over top of the fan. I'm going to make some of those changes. I'll try and get it so you can see both. And that will just give you a feel for how the software works. And we'll go from there. Okay, so now you can see the fan down here. You can see that the AMD logo is green. The ring around it is kind of a purple and red. So we're going to change. Let's start with the logo. So we go with the logo, we'll change it to, oh, let's say blue. All right, you can see that it's changed already. It's already on static, so I click apply. And then we're going to go to the ring, which is this one right here. Okay. And instead of being blue, we're going to make it, I don't know, let's go purple, I guess. And we click apply. And see, so you change. It still looks a bit bluish or pinkish, but that's all right. And then finally, the fan, and we'll make it, uh, let's say, green. All right, and apply. So now you can see I've changed all three colors in here. I'm just going to give you a closer look at that. Now, remember that I did use, now there's a new version of this software. There's a couple different ones, which I found kind of uh, confusing. This is the works with Razer Chroma. So if you have a Razer Chroma keyboard, which I do happen to have, um, it allows me to change that software as well if I want to. So in here over in the screen, there's a point to it right here. Okay, that one right there is your Cooler Master Wraith Prism software. You want to change anything else on the motherboard, you activate your RGB Fusion software and you go through and change those colors. That way you can change everything independently. So, we've got the system up and running. We've looked at a couple of the attempts from the BIOS. We've looked at this for the colors and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's, hold, let's see if we can get a game on here. Do a couple benchmarks and see how that performs. Okay, so this is our first benchmark of, uh, I think it's Rise of the Tomb Raider. And, uh, yep, it's working pretty darn good. And I can honestly say those little sunlight dots I've never seen those before so we'll let this play through we'll have a quick look at it and then we'll skip to another game just to show you how smooth this is uh, working
Okay, so 60 FPS, pretty much all the way around. Overall score is 60. Uh, not bad. I would have expected better, but um, we're running a GTX 1080, by the way, just in case you're wondering. So I decided instead of a game, I'm going to run 3D Mark. I'm going to run one of the benchmarks on here, Time Spy, and let's go ahead and do that. So first, of course, it collects system information. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but that fan is its pretty loud. I actually think I'm going to... I'll have to check in the BIOS and see if I can control it. And if I can't, well, then I'm going to have to switch it to low. Because it's just too loud for me. And you might want to think of the same. Okay, so it's loading the demo. Okay, so it's going to run the, everything right here. Well, the colors are pretty pronounced in this benchmark. I don't think I've run this one before. I may have. But just seeing the extra colors, I don't know if that's because of the driver up date for NVIDIA or not. I'll skip to the end. I'll just let this run. So it's running our graphics test number two. It's going to continue to do this. So I'm just going to pause it, show you that it's doing each one, of course, at the beginning. And uh, show you the initial frame rates, FPS, all that kind of good stuff. And then at the very end, I will show you the final results. So this is an interesting one where it's going to run the CPU test. So that's always an interesting one I like to see. So it's maxing it out. There you heard the uh, Wraith Prism Cooler kind of ramp up a bit there. And again, I'll pause it until the end. Oh, didn't have to. So, we're going to get our results. So there's our results. 7749. Valid score, as you can see. CPU, graphics test, uh, well, this GPU, not CPU. But the CPU is 10,067. 33.82 FPS for the CPU, not the GPU. Graphics test one is 48 frames per second. We're not really too interested in that, but it is nice to see running a 1080. There's our uh, Ryzen processor. And yeah, I'm not sure what else to show you here. I think we'll run one more benchmark and we'll call it a day. We'll run uh, Heaven Benchmark. So before we run that, I just wanted to show you some more uh, BIOS information. So you can see that the default right now is running at uh, 3.9 gigahertz for the CPU on just one core. All cores are running at 4.1. So that's if you choose to overclock it. All right. And of course, if you want to go further and manually overclock it and do all that kind of good stuff, you can do the auto tuning. And of course, it has down here, it has uh, the processor and then how fast it says it's going. It says it's going at 4.4390.16. And it fluctuates megahertz. BIOS version of that too, which I'll have to update. Memory is running at 3192, which it's 3200, so not bad, I guess. And that's our GPU running at 139 megahertz. I think that's not quite right. I think that's a little bit off. So here it shows you a little bit more of the temperatures, voltages. Okay. It's only hit 46 after everything that we've been doing. Kind of sits at 34 to 39. That's about regular. I think it's about normal to set around there. Our CPU fan is running at uh, 2336. So all good stuff to know. 
you want to look at advanced CPU overclocking, you go here. That's where you can start setting all your profiles and all that kind of good stuff, where you can manually overclock. And if you want to manually overclock your uh, memory, you can go in here and start setting up your profile. I've got it on profile one, which is the default for, well, when you set it up. It's not the default. The default is, well, not the whatever your memory would run at. So it's pretty cool. Uh, advanced power settings, they're all in here. Again, for all towards uh, overclocking. And you can set some hotkeys in here. Okay, for what you want. And of course, smart boost, back to where we started that. And that's it. Okay, so let's run the Heaven Benchmark. I'm just going to run it with the defaults and see how we'll make out. So as you can hear, the uh, CPU fan is ramping up. Mark here and away we go so you can see the frames per second all that kind of stuff it'll go through 26 uh, scenes and then we'll see how it plays out so of course I'm expecting this to be flawless so our frames per second oh my gosh they're at the, they were hitting 400 there at some point I've never seen that before, to be quite honest. I've never seen that that high. Mind you, this is running a GTX 1080, but uh, it's averaging a uh, low of about 370 to high of 430, 450. Temperature setting around 67. Now, this is more a test of the graphics card than it is uh, CPU. But it does help to understand a little bit about how it runs. So, I'm going to pause it, let it run through, and we'll see the end result for this one. Okay, so the benchmarking is pretty much done. It's going to come up, tell us our score, and how everything performed. Again, like I said, this is basically mostly for uh, the graphics card. Okay, it doesn't really do much anything else for the CPU itself. So... Other than tell us that the CPU is the one that's running uh, with the 1080, um, and there's our frames per second is 246.7, and a score of 87.33. So pretty remarkable, in my opinion. Okay, so the next test it's a system stability test from Ada 64. Um, I have the product key, but I'm just too lazy to enter it in here again. I'll do that later. Uh, but we're going to stress the CPU, stress the FPU, uh, stress the cache, the system memory. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the local disk or the GPU itself. Uh, I know that performs pretty well. I'm just going to click on the start button down here. And we're going to let that run. I'll let it run for probably about 5 minutes. You can see down here it's at 100% utilization. And here's our low temperature, anywhere from 29 to 34 and up to 75 right now again that's 100 percent cpu utilization so i'm gonna let it run for about five minutes and we'll see uh how much it climbs or if it just stays right there stay tuned okay so we're at about the uh four and a half minute mark and so our cpu temps hit about 81 to 80 degrees that's the top of it right there um Considering it's like full out, 100%, I think that's pretty good. So, what happens when we stop? Let's see how quickly the temperatures drop. Okay, down to zero. And we're down to 77, 69. So, it drops pretty quick. So, your cooling is taking place pretty good. No real problems in anything that I can see here. I don't know if it's going to let us see this. Oh, it's our fan. Uh, it's dropping down as well. Here's our voltages. Uh, it says powers, but it's basically how many watts we're using. 
but it doesn't really matter now. There are clocks running at 4.4. Pretty cool. There's a look at everything all together, which is kind of hard to read, to be honest. And statistics. So temperatures, average temps, 33.4. And of course we saw what they got to. There's our CPU running on all the different cores. Uh, or sorry, running from the minimum to the current and the average. And just our different drives, CPU, fans, um, voltages, all that kind of good stuff. And just let you have a quick look at that. And that is pretty much it. I might run one more time. Maybe let's try Cinebench and then that'll end the video. Okay, so here's our final one. We're going to run the CPU test on this and see what we get for a score. So it's performing the render test and uh, wow <laughs> this is definitely the highest processor I've ever had. I'm truly impressed. Done. Wow. I don't even know what the speed was of that. That was incredible. Like that was that was well you seen it here first. Wow that was incredible. 2181 CB. Okay, there's your score right there. Okay, right up here. There's our CPU. Eight threads running at 3.9 gigahertz. As I have not overclocked it. I am going to slightly overclock this one maybe later. Um, just using the uh, easy uh, overclock. Uh, there's our G GPU. And here's how we compare. So we're sitting right up on the top here. Alright, 2181. And there's a score of some of the other processors. Hey everybody, so that's the video. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Think about hitting that bell for future notifications. Think about donating. I don't ask very often, but if you want to, it certainly helps out with videos like this. So I tested the graphics card a little bit. Uh, ran the test on the CPU. Gave you the temps. Showed you a little bit about all that. Uh, show you the uh, RGB, show you how all that's going to work separately from the motherboard with the AMD Wraith Prism software. So if you have any questions still, let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, of course, uh, probably the next video is going to be a build, whether it's going to be this one or not. Um, we'll have to wait and see, because I'm going to do a build, of course, with this. Um, but whether it's going to be right away or I'm going to build another system, I haven't decided yet. Stay tuned if you want to see that one. Uh, think about subscribing if you're new here. And thanks for watching.